Hey everyone, and welcome back. So in our last little lesson, we talked a bit about, you know, finding the right font and, you know, or typeface and uh, finding the different font styles that are gonna work for you and, you know, testing out with elements. And the next part is we're actually gonna start creating a typography system. When I approach a typography system, there's a couple of things that I do. I have my font. I have like ladle bold over here. I like to like use a headline, find the stuff that you love. I like to get a bunch of different things going here. Let's actually get one for body copy. So like we may just get like lower mipsum, maybe like a three sentence paragraph. Okay. You know, maybe that's a larger paragraph and then maybe we have a little bit of a smaller paragraph. So let's, let's get that ready. So I urge you, you know, design along with me do your own thing do what works for you it's all about having fun and just exploring all the different ways we can kind of build out a type system this is what i'm going to do so i have a bunch of things they all kind of look alike now i need to think about the different types of content that i'm going to have in our mobile application we're going to have headings we're probably going to have like subheadings we're probably going to have like body copies smaller body copy we're going to have labels for like inputs we're gonna have links probably, we're gonna have hint text. And I start essentially thinking about all these different typographic elements and I'm gonna just start kind of like mocking them up. So 32 pixels is probably a good size, maybe like 36 for a bigger headline. And for like some larger body copy, I can do like 16 or maybe 20. And I'll set that to like 115%. I like to use like actual pixels for the line height. I mean, you can do it based off of like a percentage. It's totally up to you what you think is best. So like I'll probably do like 24 pixels, Ooh, not 24%, 24 pixels. And I think that's totally fine. What I'll do is I also kind of like, you know, make it medium. I'll bring this in. This will probably be like my main body copy at 16 pixels. And you know, the line height probably be around like 20 pixels. And there we go, regular. Okay, so like we start to see how things may actually like play out here. I think right now we have some really interesting things. I like to kind of try to establish some sort of visual hierarchy. So the visual differences need to be obvious enough to instantly understand the importance of each element. And that is key. So, I mean, like if we're talking about like buttons, headlines, we're talking about, um, I remember the elements that we made last time, which were like prices and product names. So we need to really think about how those different elements are going to look and how they're going to play well together. So I like to kind of start creating stuff like this to really establish like some sort of hierarchy. And the next thing I'll do is I'll start to kind of assign some preemptive roles. So. I know this is like a heading. So I know like maybe there's a 36 pixel heading. I'll probably have like a 40 pixel heading. I like to use like a really tight line height because you know, on mobile, I don't plan to have these uh, headings wrap. So, you know, maybe this is like my H1. This is like my H2. If I'm thinking about like semantic handling of our, uh, our headlines. What else is there? Maybe there's a 32 pixels. So I'm starting to think about all the different headlines I may have in the variety. That really helps me kind of start building out this type system a bit. So for a 32 pixel headline, what do we have here? This is 32, this is 36, and this is 40. So maybe 36, there's not enough variation there. So I'll, like I'll scrap that and I will go with like 32 by a 36 line height. And while I'm kind of like assigning these roles, I like nothing is set in stone, but what I can do is if I'm starting to really like the kind of the type scale I'm building, so I'll, I'll just keep on going. So if I go from like 32 to 28, and uh, let's create a couple more. So I got 28 pixels, maybe 20. I like, I'm just trying to create enough variation so that when you 
go down to like a lower size, it's enough like contrast between the previous one. We have 20 pixels and 16 will probably be the next one. So that's good. And what else is there? Maybe like 12, I think 12 is the lowest we'll go. And we may not even use that, but I think it's good to just have. Okay. So we have all these, uh, we may use like extra bold. Okay, so what I will do now is, now that I know like I have an H1, two, three, four, five, and six, I'll start actually assigning roles. So I know this is gonna be my H1 and I'm happy with it. I'm going to actually create like a style for it. And what I'll do here is I'll actually go into my text, little bar over here, go into styles, and this is how you add a style. So I'm gonna create a category called headings. This is just the formatting of it all. Headings and I'll do a slash, then I'll name it. So I'll, I'll call this like H1. What size is this one? I think this is uh, 40 pixels, so 40 pixels. Ooh, I wrote 20, 40 pixels. So there it is, I'll create that style and you'll see that if I go into here or if I just click off and I just click onto my canvas or my frame, I'll see all my local styles. So there's one. And the great thing about this is I'll just click this and I will go over here and I can just select that style. And now I can use that across my whole actual library. So I can use that across like all my different types of like uh, pages that may be linked to this, which is amazing. And I will do that for the rest of them. So I will once again, go headings, I will slash and I'll call this like H2 and this one is 32 pixels, I believe. And there you go. And it shows up right there. So for body, I would do something very similar. What I'll do is I'll like, I'll go into my styles and I'll type in body and I will say large, I think this is 20 pixel. I know that if I have a larger paragraph that I want to display or a larger copy, maybe it's like a quote, maybe it's like um, copy after a headline, not necessarily body copy that we read all the time. And I will use something like that. Same with this, I will do the exact same thing. So I will go body, I'll call it body and I'll call it uh, reg, regular. And this is 16 pixels, create style. These are my text styles they're all separated based off of what I've created. So let's go in here. And when I go to select a textile, I'll see that now they're separated by body and headline. So the goal here is to really try and create a bunch of different like roles that you're gonna be using for your type system. So I like to use like a, a couple of variances of the body copy. So I'll just disconnect this class. So detaching the style. I'll probably have like a 12 pixel, um, 12 pixel smaller body copy. And this will be like 16 pixels in height and line height. So really easy to read. And I'll just create a style right there. I'll call it body. I'll do SM for small and I'll just say 12 pixels. And there you go. Like now we're starting to create a bunch of different things. Uh, I also think of like labels. So if I just write label, I'll detach that again. And if I think about the type of label we'll have, maybe it'll be like 12 pixels. If I think about the label that we'll have, it'll be probably around 12 pixels. So maybe it's like a bold. And uh, I think like it's not gonna wrap to a second line so I can leave it at a hundred. And I'll just create a style for that. And under that, I'll, I may just call it like text or miscellaneous or forms, it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's going to be what you're gonna be using and what you're comfortable with. So I'll call it label and I'll just say like 12 pixels. So there we go. Like we have a bunch of different like styles that we already created and this is like the beginning of your type system. I mean, nothing is set in stone, go through it, see what works best and you can update these styles all the time. So if I notice that this isn't working that well, I'll jump into here and I will go to this little button that says edit style with my style selected and I can edit it up here and I can change anything from like 
the line height. I can change all the little details, like if it's in all caps. And that is essentially the easy way to create a type system from scratch. I mean, you'll have to go through different types of like body copies that you think work. Maybe there's alternate versions. Maybe there's different headlines, sub headlines. Think about the product that we're building and the different types of pieces of content that we need and just keep on going. I mean, have fun with it. It's totally such a fun exercise because you can do what we did in the last lesson and start building different types of like components and you can really start to see the different types of things that we're going to need in terms of typographic elements. Go out there, have some fun, build your own type system. At this point, it doesn't necessarily need to be so complex because we'll get into that even later, but start having fun so that when we actually get into visual design and designing actual like interfaces with color and all our elements, we are going to like, it'll speed up our workflow to use things like our local styles. So go ahead, create uh, your own type system and we'll definitely use that in our next couple lessons.